Aqua Valley chess team members do more than just make the right moves with the Kings, Queens, or other pieces on the board. With the Naperville schools being home to some of the top players in the state, this Wildcat group has been able to play the game for years and wants to give back to the community by helping those at a young age get interested in chess. Chess may be a game to some, but it's a mental workout that improves critical thinking, problem solving, and concentration. Chess is also an IHSA activity which fosters social skills and sportsmanship. I think it's really good that chess is getting a lot of publicity. If it doesn't, then I don't want it to be just become another board game, right? So I think we're really helping the kids out right here um, and teaching them how much fun it can be. However, at Nequa Valley, despite a top 10 finish at the state meet this season, the number of underclassmen signing up for the team has been dwindling. The current members knew they had to develop ways to keep the program from getting put in check. In our Nequa chess team right now, when we're looking at the freshmen, we're seeing like less and less people sign up and we're like, oh no, what are we going to do? I mean, like, we're not going to have a chess team in a few years. So when we discussed this with our coaches, we were like, what if we start a chess camp, right? We train up middle schoolers and elementary schoolers young, right? On February 15th, the team launched the inaugural chess camp at the Fry YMCA. Designed for kids of all skill levels, the camp is not strictly about serious training. It's about learning the game through interactive lessons, practice games, and friendly competitions taught by high schoolers who can relate to the kids in the classes. The combination of fun and education creates a perfect platform for kids to learn and enhance their chess skills. We wanted to do something where we would help kids kind of get interested in chess so a couple of them when they come to high school would think, you know what, maybe I can try out chess team, it sounds pretty fun. And we were reaching out and I believe Kundin had the idea to uh, ask YMCA and thankfully Miss Woods was kind enough to give us this opportunity. We were just hoping they would develop a passion for the game and they would spread that love and really like have like a positive environment, social environment where they can just have fun. Each camp meets once a week on Thursdays at the YMCA for a six week class. So far 30 kids have come out to try chess which has the Nikwa instructors in shock. They start the camp by teaching the rules and strategies of chess before letting them try it out. As the class hits the midway point, the participants have been able to connect to the game and their instructors right from the start. So it was a bit daunting at first, but as we got used to it, it was really fun. Like right now, we each take like a table and then you kind of get to bond with the kids, learn what they like, and chess is hard to teach, right? Because it's so complicated, but all these kids have been learning really well and it's been going really good. I really expected everyone to be shy, so I thought encouraging participation was going to be really hard. But most of these kids are they are very cool people. They're very outgoing, they're very friendly, and I think I've really enjoyed having conversations with them because they don't hold back. They say whatever is on their mind and it's just very nice. It's very refreshing. As the Nikwa Valley students stay focused during the competition, Outside of the competition, they're scheming ways to get others in checkmate. We have some experience in tournaments, so we know like we're able to like understand how like they might feel at a, like when they're having some trouble learning the game. I feel like having the experience really helps out when you're like teaching students, just to, um, just since you know like where they can struggle or like some of their hardships that they can face. With three weeks remaining in the camp, these kids are more than just pawns in a plan to grow the Wildcat roster but they may be a part of the next generation of great chess players in the area. I'm really excited. I feel like this generation of kids are probably going to be the best ever in chess, and I'm just hoping to see some exciting chess being played. For Naperville Sports Weekly, I'm Patrick Cotto.